Editing and deleting events. Editing and deleting events are very easy. You've already seen most of what you need to know in the videos on creating point, path, and area events. There are three ways to select an event for editing. Click on Edit, Event, and choose the event that you want. Events are listed in chronological order. Locations, if there are any, are simply listed in alphabetical order. Or open the toolbar, click on Edit Event, choose your event. Or right click on the event itself. Sometimes this doesn't always work due to interactions with Google Maps, so you might want to fall back on one of the other two methods. You can change any fields in the event. As with creating an event, the changes take effect when you save the event. For path and area events, you can change the event geometry by grabbing any of the control points and moving them. The arrow says, I want to reverse that change that I just made. You can only do one of those. In other words, I can't reverse this one and then reverse the one that I may have made before that. If, however, you make a number of geometry changes and in the end you decide you don't want them, simply cancel the entire event editing session and it'll go back to the pre-edit session state. For a point event, you can pick up the point event, move it around, and either leave it where it is or cancel to uh, undo any changes you made in the location of the point event. To delete an event, simply click the delete button and History in Motion will ask you to confirm that. Recall that if an area event is animated, then it has a target area event it is moving toward or morphing into. So let's look at the start of the fire. And that has a target event, which is the extent of the fire by 10 p.m. So let's simply delete that target event. And confirm the delete of that. Now if I go back and edit the start of the fire, we see that the animation has been changed to none because its target event was deleted. In other words, you don't have to set the source event's animation to none before deleting the target event. You can do it. You can just delete the target event. History in Motion takes care of the rest. Now I really didn't want to delete that particular event, so what I can do is go to File Open to move to another scenario, and I get warned that the set of changes has not been saved. Would I want to let save them? Well, no. In this case, I want to discard the changes, the change being I deleted that event. So I'm going to uh, disregard the changes and open that scenario again. And if I move to the 10 o'clock event, there it is. This concludes our discussion of events. You've now seen how to create, edit, and delete point, path, and area events. Good luck.